Happy Monday, FlossTube. Hello, crafty friends. My name is Caroline. Welcome back. Crafty chat. I usually say daily crafty chat, but today uh, is probably one of the few videos this week that I'm going to be able to put out. So I will be definitely back on Thursday because Thursday is October the 1st, which is high tea, and uh, I will be celebrating with a new start. So I'll be back then. But I am, uh, I'm currently, <laughs> I have a lot of sewing to do. And, uh, you know, I know how many bags I can make in a day. Um, but I, there have been a few unexpected additions to my, to my day with uh, a son who his, <laughs> I'm sure those of you doing remote learning understand. There was a joke that I saw on Facebook last week and uh, it was a four panel cartoon and the first three panels are the teacher with saying to the student um, okay so here's your assignment for for this evening and then the next uh, the next panel says are there any questions and then the next panel says okay so no questions everybody understands what you're doing okay well we'll see you tomorrow and then the last the last panel is the is the child closing the laptop, turning her head and saying, Mom, can you help? I don't understand my assignment. Yeah, so it is, it's, it's been a learning curve for us all. So I am finding myself, I'm feeling a little bit like I'm getting a bit behind and I don't like that feeling. So um, I'm going to knuckle down over the next couple of days and try to catch up. And I, I also won't have any personal crafting to share. So it would be just me coming on to say, how's everybody doing? Want to see a whole pile of sewing? <laughs> so let me show you what I did do this weekend. I did not manage to finish my Martin Luther King sampler, but I came really close. I came really close. So I'm almost there. I just have to finish this flower. And I think one of the birds needs an eye still. And then my words at the top and that's it, then it's done. So this will definitely be finished before I start my new start for high tea on Thursday. No question about it. That's my, that is my goal and I will achieve my goal. I will finish this before Thursday, no problem. 10 minutes in the morning with coffee and 10 minutes before I fall asleep at night. One way or the other, this is getting finished. Oh, I just, uh, I love the colors in that and it's just turning out so beautifully. I love it. Um, all of the information about the, uh, the, what I'm using, the materials in that will be in the drop down box below. It is a pattern by Stone Street Stitchworks called the Martin Luther King Sampler. Okay, and you know I did some socks, did some working on my socks. My Fruity Pebble sock, my heel flap is half done. So I've completed uh, half of the heel flap. I usually like to make, I usually do a 40 row heel flap. And that gives me a, a lot of nice um, length to work with to make that those gusset decreases um, a little bit uh, it gives me more circumference in my in my over the arch of my foot because um, it you know takes longer to decrease so there's more uh, yeah circumference would be the right word wouldn't it I think so anyways it's so pretty but that gray yarn is just perfect in there come on you can focus there we go see and the colorful part of the yarn is not showing up quite true to color. It's, that's probably a little bit better back here. Really pretty. So again, this is a Leo and Roxy yarn. Um, it is the August 2019 Sock of the Month Club colorway. And I love it. Yeah, I don't, I think, you know, I, I feel really good about the work that I'm accomplishing on my socks lately I feel like they're you know I'm getting through them I'm not letting myself get bogged down at the heel I'm just getting on and doing it which which is really nice okay so my biscuit sock this was my new start on the weekend and oh, I love this yarn so much 
Okay, so the biscuit sock that is a pattern by Lorraine Ashley of LNS Crafts on YouTube, and there will be a link below. I have worked my way, I don't know, 10 rows, 12 rows ish, and the I love the detail in this cuff. It's really, really pretty. But one thing I am noticing is that it is quite a bit looser than my my regular cuff that I do is the knit to pearl to cuff rib and this I'm finding is is a little bit looser and when I look at the photos on the pattern they it does look like the cuff is a little bit looser compared to um, you know a sock that would have a I'll show you I've got one right here see this is a two by two rib and you can see how it it kind of squishes in a bit, right? Because there's so much give there in the stretch part of the rib. Well, definitely the biscuit sock does not have, it does not go in like that. Um, but I'm actually thinking that it might fit really well as long as it stays up. And I, I don't think for me, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Not like I have, you know, a leg that goes from knee to foot. I do have a bit of an ankle and a calf, but you know, I'm wondering if this might fit a little bit better higher up on my leg. And there is still a fair bit of stretch. Which, there you go. I think that's, <laughs> now nothing is focused. <laughs> well, it's, it has been one of those days. So there is still a fair bit of stretch in it. And I'm, I love, I love the detail in it. Really, really, really nice. Um, yeah, it's been, it's a pleasure to knit in those few stolen moments. So that's, that's what I've been up to. Uh, I, I wanted to share one more thing with you that came back with John when he arrived home on Sunday, home back here to the cottage home on Sunday, he picked up the mail uh, when he went home on Friday and the sewing machine needles that I had ordered had finally come in and uh, th this was a bit of a I was in a bit of a pickle a few weeks ago actually because I had run out of sewing machine needles here and I hadn't realized that I was like really out out because I had a package of needles here but I hadn't really looked carefully at the size on them and they were the wrong size, like they were um, a 70, 14. Those of you who have, who use sewing machine needles, you'll know what I'm talking about. They were a 70, 14 and I really like, I, I use a 90, the universal 90 and I didn't look at the package and I should have known because they're a smaller needle, but I was just, you know, blithely sewing along and I must have snapped three needles before I finally <laughs> looked at the package. <laughs> I said, oh, that's why you're not liking going over these zippers. <laughs> they, I'm lucky I didn't end up with a piece of needle. Um, anyways, see, I've got big glasses, so they're kind of like safety glasses on my face. But anyways, realized that I, I was completely out of the right size needle. And I had ordered some, but they hadn't come in yet. And no one was coming back and forth. So John was on his way back here from oh, this was a few weeks back so I said look can you stop at I even I called Walmart because the sewing machine the sewing center in town wasn't answering the phone and so I called Walmart and I said do you have this size sewing machine needles do you have any in stock well I, I think so I said would you mind going to check and see if you have them in stock because my husband's gonna be stopping by and he won't know anyways very, very nice girl. She said, I'm at the photo counter. When he shows up, tell him to come and ask me because I've gone and I found them. I know where they are. There's two packages. And sure enough, when he got there, he, he didn't even know where to start looking. So he went and found her and she said, Oh, you're the, you're the needle guy. So <laughs> she took him right to the right place. And he brought, he brought home the two packages. So disaster averted, I was able to carry on. However, in the meantime, my order arrived at home and John brought it up with him this last time. And I wanted to show you because 
it is this cute little box. So my favorite sewing machine needles are by the company called Schmetz. And I just like saying that name, Schmetz. It's just, it's fun. So, um, believe it or not, well, I wonder if you can guess. Can you guess how many needles do you think are in? Did I already say? I don't think I said. If I didn't say, see if you can guess. It'll be like, guess how many jelly beans are in the jar. Guess how many sewing machine needles are in this tiny little box. It's not 25. I'll tell you that. That's all. That's the only hint you're going to get. So they arrived and I'm so happy. So now I'm going to replace the needle on my machine with one of my favorites and I'm, I'm set to go. And I think that's it. I have put almost all of the zippers into the uh, medium russet partridge bags that sold in the first batch of um, orders that were ordered on the 18th. So almost all of the russet sets have their zips in. Um, tomorrow's job is to do the large partridge, russet partridge and iron the, uh, iron. So once I, once the zips in, I have to iron everything open flat so that I can top stitch along the zipper and that requires the generator. So I'm having to do all of this in batches so that I run the generator to do all of the ironing all at once, but not too much, right? Because well. You don't want to be running the generator for three hours. So I have to, I sort of try to do all of these things in batches. And so that's why nothing is going to be getting mailed out until um, everything is kind of almost all done. So the plan is, I think I mentioned this last week, the plan is for us to head home shortly after our Thanksgiving, which in Canada is uh, uh, in two weeks, I think. It's the, it's the weekend of the 10th, 11th, 12th. And uh, we will be heading home after after Thanksgiving. And th starting that week, I will be starting to mail out packages of goodies. So if you if you happen to order a bag in and amongst all of the sort of fun and 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 frivolity that was ordering of the Christmas sets, if you didn't order a Christmas set, but your order is somewhere buried in the middle of those Christmas sets. I apologize, but it also is probably not going to get sent out until um, after I get home. And I, I hope that's okay. I'm doing my, my very, very best to get everything out as quickly as I possibly can. Um, but if I wait until I go home, I'm hoping that Sarah again can help me with the packaging so that we can get through it a little bit more quickly. So my goal is to have all of the initial um, batch of orders in the mail by October 23rd. And then the the second batch of orders that were went on sale yesterday, um, I hope to have those out one to two weeks after that. So all of the Christmas bags should be in the mail by um, the beginning of the second week of November, I would say at the very latest. So there are still bags in the shop. They didn't all sell out yesterday. Only one of the sizes, the large, the large flat navy bag sold out and that's now all gone. Um, I do still have some individual patterns left for Miss Margaret Ann Rollo and still some of the other uh, bags. The large russet one, I think I only have a couple of those left, but the mediums, I still have, um, I still have a, a, a few left of those. So anyways, Thank you. Thank you again to everyone. It's been, you have kept me hopping over the last couple of weeks and I foresee myself with many happy hours of sewing still ahead of me to come. So on that note, I'm going to uh, say goodbye and I'm going to get this video up and we're going to have some dinner and then I'm going to get back to the sewing machine for a few more hours this evening. And then the next couple of days, I'm going to spend them sewing and ironing and it is supposed to rain. The next couple of days, I think we got really lucky with um, a little bit of sunshine today. I am expecting the next couple of days will be rain, so I'll have to juggle my my usage of the generator for charging the batteries for the sewing machine. Maybe I'll do some extra uh, cut work. I still have a fair bit of bat to cut for the second set, so I can always do that while I'm waiting for the batteries to charge back up again. 
so that's it. I do have that Rivaris pattern to give away, so I'm going to do that at the beginning of Thursday's episode. So even though it's high tea, I'm going to do that on Thursday. I haven't pulled a winner yet, and my phone is in the other room. Um, I have already edited in, edited in a whip parade for today. I hope you enjoy it. I always love doing those. And uh, I will have another whip parade on Thursday. So if you would like to continue to send me photos of your what you're stitching and working on, I would like to receive them. One more thing I have to tell you, because this was really, really nice. Um... I have received two messages in the past week. One was from uh, Cameron, who who left me a comment saying that her daughter, who is special needs, um, apparently really likes to watch my videos. And so her mom was joking around that she she said, "Oh great, now I have to put your videos on loop." <laughs> So I thought that was really sweet and really quite funny. And then just this morning, uh, Carrie in Australia posted a picture on the, I, I don't have her permission to share the photo and it is of her young, young son. So I, I won't share it here, but if you're on the Facebook group, maybe you saw it, the Friday off the grid group and she posted a photo of her son and he was asleep. And she said that for the last three days, every time he hears the music of my podcast, he comes in and he sits down with her and he falls asleep. And she said, she said, I, I really like you, but now I like you even more because I get extra <laughs> stitching time. So Carrie, I hope that, uh, I hope today's video worked for you as well and that you're getting a few extra moments and boy, oh boy, your son is a sweetheart. So thank you so much for sharing that photo. That was really, really nice. All right, everybody, have a great night. I will see you on Thursday for high tea. So take care and happy stitching. Mm -hmm.